Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. Let's talk about the 10 hidden uh, hacking tools that exist in Kelly Linux that you probably don't even know. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. This is in no particular order and please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button right now. <laughs> Number one, Amass. This package contains a tool to help information security professionals perform network mapping of attack surfaces and perform external asset discovery using open source information gathering and active reconnaissance techniques. So let's talk about those information gathering techniques, right? Uh, the DNS, the basic enumeration, brute forcing upon request, reverse DNS sweeping, subdomain name alterations slash permutations. We have zone transfers upon request, scrapping, ask, Beidou, Bing, DNS dumpster, DNS table, dog pile, uh, exa, exa lead, Google, hacker one, IPv4 info, netcraft, uh, PTR archive, Riddler, site dossier, view DNS, and some of the Yahoo certificates, active pulls upon request, uh, census, search spotter, uh, entrust, and the Google CT. Uh, number two, Android SDK and Android SDA in SDK, sorry, includes a variety of tools that help you develop mobile applications for the Android platform. The tools are classified into three groups, SDK tools, platform tools, and build tools. Uh, so SDK tools are platform independent and are required no matter which Android platform you are developing on. Uh, it is base, it is the base tool set of the Android SDK. So this meta package pulls the entire Android SDK. You have the Android SDK build tools, right? And the Android SDK includes a variety of tools that help you develop mobile applications for your Android platform. Uh, the tools are classified into three groups. We have the SDK tools, platform tools, and the build tools. So the build tools is a component of the Android SDK required for building Android application code. This package includes uh, it, it also pulls from Android SDK build tool. Uh, the third, number three, is the backdoor factory, and it injects shell code into Win32 slash 64 PE files, 32 slash 64 bits ELF binaries to continue normal file execution if the shell code supports it by patching the uh, exe executable slash dll directory and some executables have built-in protections as such uh, this will not work on all elf pe files elf slash pe files it is advisable that you test target elf slash pe files before deploying them to clients or using them in exercises Number four, we have Bloodhound, and this package contains Bloodhound, a single page JavaScript web application. Bloodhound uses graph theory to reveal the hidden and often unintended relationships within an Active Directory environment. Attackers can use Bloodhound to easily identify highly complex attack paths uh, that would otherwise be impossible to quickly identify. So defenders can use Bloodhound to identify and eliminate those same attack paths. Uh, both blue and red teams can use Bloodhound to easily gain uh, a deeper understanding of privileged relationships in an active directory environment. Number five, we have Cab Extract. Cab Extract is a program which unpacks cabinet, also known as uh, .cab files, which are a form of archive Microsoft uses to distribute their software and things like Windows font packs. Uh, number six, we have CCCrypt. Yeah, I, 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 I got you. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys probably didn't even know about CCCrypt, huh? You guys probably didn't even know about that. I'm hitting you guys with those hidden unknown, right? Look, if it's unknown, hit that like button, okay? I got you. So CCCrypt is a utility for encrypting and decrypting files and streams. Uh, it was designed as a replacement for the, um, the standard Unix crypt utility, which is notorious for using a very weak encryption algorithm. And uh, CCrypt or CCRipped, whatever you want to call it, is based on the... Uh, <laughs> Peter, you can put this on the screen because I'm probably going to botch it. The Rijnadayl cipher, which is the U.S. government's chosen candidate for the Advanced Encryption Standard, also known as the AES. 
Uh, this cipher is believed to provide a very strong security and I believe the installed size is around 181 uh, kilobytes KB. Uh, number seven, we have the F tester and this is a really good tool for, you know, around firewalls, but let's talk about it. And uh, number seven F tester also, which is really the firewall tester is a tool designed for testing firewall filtering policies and intrusion detection systems capabilities, also known as IDS. The features on this is firewall testing, IDS testing, simulation of real TCP connections for stateful inspection firewalls and IDS. We also have as a fee, as you know, some more features of this tool is TCP connection spoofing, IP fragmentation slash TCP segmentation. We have IDS invasion techniques. Okay. Number eight, we have Galetta, G A L L E T A, G A L L E T A, Galetta, Galata, whatever you want to call it. You guys are going to come at me in the comment section anyway. So, Galetta is a forensics tool that examines the content of cookie files produced by Microsoft Internet Explorer, also known as MSIE. It parses the file and outputs a field separated that can be loaded in a spreadsheet. Okay, number nine, we have Git Leaks, Git Leaks, G I T L E A K E, um, G I T, <laughs> G I T L E A K S, Git Leaks, Git Like, whatever, it is, whatever it is. And Git Leaks is a uh, S A S T, SAST tool for detecting and preventing hard coded secrets like passwords, API keys, and tokens in Git, uh, Git repos. And GetLeaks is an easy to use all in one solution for detecting secrets past or present in your code. 10, the last one we have here is Juice Shop. Yes, we got the juice out here. We got the juice. We got the juice out here. We got the juice. And number 10, Juice Shop. <laughs> this package contains a modern and sophisticated insecure web application. It can be used in security trainings, awareness demos, CTFs, and as a guinea pig for security tools. Juice Shop encompasses vulnerabilities from the entire OWASP top 10 along with many other security flaws found in real world applications. Now, there is a warning that comes with this, right? Do not, I repeat, do not upload it to your hosting provider's public HTML folder or any internet facing servers as they will be compromised. Okay, that's a warning for you. So uh, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Once again, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your support. Please take a moment to also hit that notification bell so you know when I am releasing new videos. So um, stay safe. See you in the next video.